Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Destiny and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we're going to go ahead and start working with a product list view. And we're going to be listing out all the products, both the ones that are not featured and the ones that are not popular. We're going to be listing them out in a page, just as I told you guys in the last video. Then make sure to drop a like, consider subscribing if you want to see more videos like this. I drop programming related videos almost on a daily basis. Then make sure to drop a like, consider subscribing. And also, you want to get the templates, check out the link in the description below. They should help you get a template. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Now, in order to create the product list view, it's going to be quite easy because that's something that we have done before. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come just over here and I'm going to say define and um, I'm going to call this one. We could just say product underscore list. OK, maybe product list. And um, I think that should be its product list. Or if you want, you could go ahead and even add up the view product list view. Then I'm going to pass in request in here. And this is what I pretty much want to do. I'm just going to copy this over here and I'm going to paste it. And guys, we are done. But one thing that we want to remove is this featured. So even if a product is featured or not, we want to show it in the product list. And we're going to change this to product-list.html. And now we need to create this template or we're going to get a template error. So I need to come down here and I need to create new file product list. Now we need to come over to the URL and um, just just duplicate this down here. And we're going to change this one to products, just like that. And this one is going to be products list view. And this one is going to be products list. Hopefully you guys got that. Now I think that should be it. I'm just going to come over to my website and I'm going to come over to slash products. Okay, what do you notice? This is it over here showing up perfectly well. Now, another thing I'm just going to do is go ahead and change out this product over here. And how do we do that? Now, remember, I told you guys we got a template, the sweet templates that we'll be using. Now, there should be one call that's called product filter. Hopefully, I have it somewhere here. So I'm going to look for, for this is it, product filter. So you want to open up the product filter and just grab every single thing that we got in there and you want to paste it in the product list.html and in the category remember how i did the last one or we could even do in the index i'm just going to copy this code that we've got over here and remember how we search for the header now i'm gonna close this off i'm gonna minimize that just after the end header comments i'm gonna get rid of that and paste what, what i've copied and i'm gonna copy only the block content close down the main and i'm gonna remove everything from the beginning footer to the end delete and paste what we've copied but this time around change this to end or we're gonna get a problem and that should be it so um if we come over here now and refresh what do you notice we got us pretty looking thing eh? Now we got this filter over here. Now, hopefully you guys have seen the demo, how we're gonna be building really, really cool filters. When we click on this, it should go ahead and filter only the project that's that's the vendor Audi has created. And we're gonna filter by this and this and this and all that. So that's gonna be it. Now let's go ahead and change up all this dummy thing that we've got. Now in order to change up all those, I'm just gonna look for end product card. That's the first one. Now what I just need to do is click on this. So I'm gonna get the div line. There's div. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna minimize it. Okay. So you guys are right and just need to keep minimizing all this. Minimize this, minimize this, minimize this. And um, there's still a lot that I've got to minimize before I'm done. Man, I think there's a lot of products in the product list. Actually, that's supposed to be the white shop. So yeah, there should be a lot of products there. And I think we should be coming to the end. Any moment from now. Yeah, that's the end. So we need to get rid of all these things. And um, over here, that's where we're going to run the for loop. Okay. So I'm just going to come over here and I'm going to say for, for P in products, for P in products, that's why I called it right. Now over here, I'm just going to say end for. So what do you think is going to happen if we refresh this? Now we got two products, eh? That's it, two products. But I think these two products are showing up just because one in the database, it's still in review. So if we come over here and publish this one, 
and save now let's get back here real quick now what do you notice we got three eh? so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna come over here and I need to replace all this data that I've got now remember I've done this in the index it's it's almost the same thing I'm just gonna search for for P that's it over there now if we minimize this I'm, I'm gonna copy this that, that we've got and um, or I could even just copy the whole for loop itself and I'm gonna come over to the product list and minimize this one and um, paste this one down there so now if I refresh this what do you notice this is what we've got right so that's that's looking pretty cool now all i need to do is just get rid of this one at the top i don't need that any longer so just copy the word i've got in the index and paste over there if you want to save yourself some time and not type out all that and as you can see that's pretty much what we got so as i said earlier we haven't started working with the paginations by the way we wouldn't even be using this kind of paginations we'll be using the load more pagination that's what we're going to be doing we're going to be getting used to the ajax so I think that's gonna be it for this video. Do be sure to drop a like, guys. Consider subscribing as it really means the world to me. And in the next video, we're gonna go ahead and start working with categories so that we're gonna be able to display categories and show up categories and the products that our categories are. And this is how it's gonna be looking over here. So I'm just gonna come over to slash category. And this is what we're gonna be building. That's gonna show the, how many products a category has, the name of the category, the image of the category, and it's gonna show you over here. And all this is coming directly from the database. Be sure to drop a like, cause that's subscribing has to really be in the world to be. Also, if you wanna get a template, you know where to go already. And on to the next video, we're gonna go ahead and creating something really cool. Mad love, peace out.